Hey you guys, it's Caddy Customs again, coming at you with another Christmas tutorial. And last year, you guys remember me doing the Candy Cane Grinch theme. And this year, I'm working on the Rookie of the Year ones. This time, I'm gonna add snow and Christmas lights and, you know, give it a little bit more of a Christmas feel. With this custom, you do not have to use the leather preparer because it's the new bug right here. So I'm gonna only use it on the parts that are leather, which is the middle part right here and the top. What I'm gonna do first is add the icing and the snow along the new buck part. Normally we would not suggest painting the new buck only because it'll change the texture and the feel of the shoe, but today we're just doing a little bit of it so it's not gonna make a big of a difference. Using the flat white, I typically use about four to five coats just so I could give it a clean, even look around the shoe. I want it to be as white as possible. And doing the icing around the shoe is basically simple, just like a dripping effect, regular drips, but a little sharper at the end. And it's pretty random, it's not really no pattern to it. You know, go with the flow. So next what we're gonna do, we're gonna paint this middle part right here where the Nike check sign is, black. So now that the black is on there, what I'm gonna do now is paint the Nike check white and add the candy cane theme. And what I use for the candy cane theme, I use fire red and basically flat white. I do the thick lines first. With doing it freehand, it's okay to go back and clean it up with the white because you know it's not gonna always be perfect, but I like to get it as perfect as I can because I don't use tape. So right now I'm just going over it again with the white, cleaning it up. And now I'm just adding the pinstripes to the candy cane. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna fill in the white icing part with a little bit of blue, give it more of a icy feel to the custom. And what I do, I use pale blue with flat white, just going back and forth with the blue and white. And doing this part, you gotta move fast. You can't let the paint get dry or else you'll see the blue lines. Now that the icing is done on the shoe, now it's time to do the Christmas lights going along the back side. So basically now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use a pencil just to draw it out first. Then I'm gonna go over with the gray or black paint and then add the Christmas lights. I'm not technically using a paintbrush, I'm actually using a pencil, dipping it in the paint so that way I could get a super fine line of exactly how I want it to be. For the Christmas lights along the back, I chose the colors Royal 5, pink, orange, light green, yellow, and red. To me, it represents more of a traditional Christmas lights. So next that we're about to do, we're gonna do the snowfall. And what I like to use is a Q-tip. And the colors that we use is light gray, white, and gray taupe. Now that the artwork is done, now it's ready to be laced up with leather white laces by Lace Lab. Here we are, this is the finished product of the Gingerbread House Custom Jordan 1. 
I appreciate you guys tuning in. I love the way it came out. I like the lights on the back, the snowfall, the candy cane, Nike check. And uh, feel free to follow me on Instagram at Caddy Customs, but definitely make sure you follow Angelus on YouTube and Instagram. And I look forward to seeing you guys again.